Hi, so this video is entitled Programming the Arduino, and if what you were expecting was an in-depth exploration of the ins and outs and the pins and all the complications of Arduino, then I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's not about that. It's actually about making those first steps in programming the Arduino and using the Arduino that is the big block to everybody doing it. I mean, it's complicated, isn't it? It's a computer. It's got bits to it. It's electronics. And that's really frightening because when you try to delve into something like that, of course, what you get is an awful lot of techno speak that doesn't do much but mystify even more for you. But actually, programming the Arduino and using the Arduino to do stuff is just super easy. It's almost like putting a Lego set together. It's all to do with the building blocks and using those building blocks. Now, it's okay to be scared of stuff. I'm scared of stuff, and when I'm scared of stuff, it takes me ages to pick it up. But sooner or later, you really ought to get out there and pick it up and give it a go. Get over that fear of it. Get over that worry about the complication of it, because... Take my word for it, it really isn't complicated. I mean, when you grab an Arduino, that's what it looks like. That's called an Arduino shield, and you just push the two together to make it do something like Lego. Then equally, when you want to do something else, you basically look up what those pins do and stuff bits in there to make it work. Now these things actually are surprisingly cheap. That's what's good about them. They're inexpensive and if you go to the Arduino site there's an Arduino board, the Arduino hub, the create hub. It's got just such a ton of information in there that's very usable for you to be able to get going with this. Now the other thing I think is really worth buying is one of these things. This is an Elegoo product, and I'm not being sponsored to do it, incidentally. I bought this because I think it's a good product. Nobody gave me this. It's Elegoo. It's uh, the starter kit. I think it was about £25 or something. Now, you get a whole load of bits in there. Uh, resistors, jumper cables, other plug-in modules that you can do stuff with. Um, it saves you hunting it all out. Later on, when you're more familiar with this stuff, you're going to want to hunt it out. To start off with, when you need all those little bits and pieces and you're not quite sure where to get them from, you'll find a whole load in a box like that. I mean, sure enough, there are going to be things that you don't use, but there are things in there that you can just reach in and get in order to do a task that you want to do with the Arduino. And that's actually super when you think about it. Now, the other main resource, apart from grabbing yourself a board and grabbing yourself a starter kit, is the Arduino hub itself. When you want to do something, like recognise a button press, run a relay, light an LED, run a motor, all that sort of stuff, when you want to actually do something with the Arduino, mostly somebody else has written the sketch for you. When somebody else writes the sketch for you, they're almost entirely free for use. They're in the GNU. They're just public domain, you can use them and you can adapt them. Now, when I'm doing this sort of stuff, what I do is I just grab a block of what I'm interested in. So let's have a look at this push button thing, for instance. On this push button thing, on the hub, there is a sketch how to read a push button, which is awesome, really. Then there's a little circuit diagram showing you exactly what to do. Now, here is the circuit diagram. As you can see, the circuit diagram consists of very little else apart from stick a wire in here, stick a wire in there, and you're done. So if we have a look at the actual implementation of that, let's stick those wires in place in the Arduino. There's my Arduino board, and I've stuffed those wires in exactly the same way in the, as they were shown in that drawing that I just showed you. And the hardest thing about this was counting the pins, because those numbers are quite little, eh? So I had to count those pins, stick those wires in, connect it like it was shown in the board. The next thing you do is take the sketch that's shown on exactly the same page, it does all that programming for you. And then I press that button, hey presto, it does what it said on the box, that little light lights up. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so the sketch I used was this. I got that straight off the Arduino hub. All I actually did was put push button Arduino in a Google search and it was the first entry. I mean, talk about easy. So I just copied and pasted that into the sketch, loaded it to the Arduino, and hey presto, I press that button and I get that LED to light off and on. 
Now, I didn't use a button, obviously. What I used was this, which is a micro switch. Because I want to put this on my machine. The change I'm going to have to make to that is only what it does once it's pressed. In the code, you'll see when switch pressed, light LED. What I'm going to do is when press, uh, switch pressed, do something else. So the only bit of code I'm going to have to change is that little bit that says light LED. I'm going to have to change that to be what I want it to be. That is, do something else. And that's what it's like. You grab those bits and pieces, pull them together, make sure you can do it, which is just easy because it's like I say, it's like putting a Lego kit together. Then look at what it is that you want it to do instead of what it is that it's doing. So making those first steps with Arduino, it, it's really plug and play. Everything's out there to help you and it's really very simple just to get going with it. Sure, later when you want to do something else, it can get very, very complicated. But if you're not making that first step, you'll never get to later. And making that first step is an awful lot easier than perhaps you thought it was. Like I say, the Arduino is pretty cheap. That starter kit has all those little bits in. The only thing I added was this switch, because everything else just came out of the starter kit. And there's a ton of help on the uh, Arduino hub just to get you going. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.